In today's video, I'm going to show you how I blend colored pencils using this Lego Mercedes F1 car as an example. More specifically, how I'm going to turn this bit down here into something more like this. So without further ado, let's just get straight to it. So don't be put off by the fact that I have an alcohol marker base here. This will still work whether you're using alcohol markers or you're just going straight onto a blank piece of paper. And on the topic of paper, if you want to get really smooth pencil work, it's really important that you use really smooth paper. And the exact paper that I'm using today is um, the 1557 by Canson. And the pencils that I'm using today are the Faber-Castell Polychromos. But diving a bit more into the pencils, I split them into three categories. So I'm going to have the light pencils. I'm also going to have what I like to call intermediaries. So these are not quite the darkest ones, but they're not quite the lightest ones. So they're like in between. And then I also have my darkest pencils as well. So these are for the shadows and outlining stuff. So on the topic of outlining now, I'm just gonna grab one of these intermediaries. So probably my darkest one actually. And we're just gonna go around the basic structure here and just outline basically the basic structure, as I just said, just going around here. Just making sure that we've got a really good idea about where everything is. And especially if you're using alcohol markers, you can sometimes just create a bit of a mess of the markers. And it's really important that you clean it up so that everything is nice and crisp. And you may notice that my pencils are really sharp. And this is because before I start any kind of drawing session, I always sharpen my pencils so that I can keep everything nice and crisp. Especially with like car drawings and things, you want everything to be as crisp as possible because obviously a blunt pencil can kind of deposit pigment just everywhere and that's not cool. So again, just coming around, just really, not really pressing very hard at the moment, just refining this, what we've got down already. But again, if you don't have a marker base, this is where you'll just like crisp up your sketch. So again, just making sure this is nice and round, just kind of separating all the individual parts, just jotting in where the basic shadows and stuff need to go as well. Just like so, and then there's just a bit more of a shadow down here as well. Just coming down here, and then we'll just fill this in, just because that is quite a dark shadow. And then just come around again. Keep following the circle around, just like so. So now that I reckon we've done that, we can then come back in one of the intermediary colors. So this is the one that's not the darkest or the lightest, it's in, the, in between. So then we can just fill in some of the space in here. So if you've got the reference image, and I'm going to put that um, up in the corner, you can see that here, you've just got like, it's a bit darker towards the middle, and then it's a bit lighter around the outside. So that's why I'm just gonna jot in here, just simply jotting this in. And then we're gonna come back here as well and just jot this in like so. Just like so, and then we're gonna come up here to this um, beam, or the rectangle, and we're just gonna sort this out as well. Just jotting it in like so, do, do, do. And then we're gonna come over here as well and just constantly looking at that reference photo and just jot it in like so. Very nice. So now what we're gonna do is come over with a white pencil and we're gonna add in all the extreme highlights. So I'm now just gonna kind of come in and just go around the circumference here. Just, oh, press it a bit too hard there. Crack the pencil, but whatever. It's all nice and sharp and just come around the edge here, just establishing this highlight that goes all the way around. So it's like a lip on this Lego piece here. Just coming all the way around, just like so. And then it's got a nice bright highlight on the end here as well. Yep, and just keeps coming around. So now that we've done this, we've pretty much got a really good idea about what's going on here. So we now know where the darkest areas are, we now know where the intermediary bits are, and we now know where the lightest bits are. So what we can do now is come back in with these pencils, so the intermediaries, the lights, and the darks, and just really like um, build up the layers here because as you can see here, this is a first layer and everything's really grainy at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is come in with this um, light cobalt turquoise and just kind of blend this intermediary to the lighter area. And you may notice that this is kind of flattening it a bit because it's decreasing that contrast because we're sticking some um, pigment into the light areas and we're also kind of lightening the dark areas. So it's becoming less contrasting, but you can notice that it's starting to become a bit smoother or a lot smoother in this case. So now to blend the shadow, I'm just gonna come in with a bit of a darker pencil because I don't necessarily want that really, really light. So a cobalt turquoise this time. And just come in here and darken this. And you can see with this next layer that I've put on top, it's just really helping to smooth out that pencil work. So just sticking this down, just like so. And then as you can see here where it joins, so just where that little rec this rectangle bit is overlapping, we want to make that extra dark. So I'm gonna come in here with the 
Hello Turquoise. <laughs> That's a funny name for a color. So come in like this and just darken that underside here, pressing really quite firmly now. And then we're gonna come up here and just darken here as well. Just like so. And then we're gonna come up here and just darken this bit so it really brings out that highlight on the end of that piece there. Can you see that on the reference photo? So just like so. Very nice, and then on the top here as well, just a bit darker, so I'm still using this Hello Turquoise, but not pressing quite as hard as I did there, but just making sure that we're just um, bringing this rectangular piece away from this um, base piece here. Just like so. Very nice, and I reckon we can just crisp up the outline here. Just comes around. Make it nice and crisp, because obviously, this is a very Lego specific thing. You want everything to be nice and clean and tidy. So very nice. So now what I'm gonna do is just come back in with some of those intermediaries. So this is the cobalt green now, and we're just gonna come in here, and just press a bit harder and just darken up some of these areas. And you can see here, this is basically our third layer in this area, and we're gonna press really quite firmly now, and this is really smoothing everything out. And it's just a smidge darker, and then we're gonna come over here as well, just like so, and then come over here as well and just blend this little corner here. Now, if you're wondering like how I pick colors, color selection is really something that comes with practice and doing loads and loads of different drawings. And it is just something that um, you get better at. And I don't really think there's any other advice that I can give you because it is just, you look at a reference photo and you'll be able to see the more you do them. So when you first begin, you're probably thinking, okay, this is like, it's got some blues and greens and stuff. But yeah, you just gotta practice and you'll get better. So coming in with the light cobalt turquoise and just blending what we just did now, just blending this together, just like so. And then this is gonna come over. And then what I'm gonna do now is come in with a cold gray too and just desaturate the color on this side of it because obviously it's gray, it's not the most colorful color. It's just going to remove that color because this side isn't quite as vibrant. So now what we're gonna do is come in with the Hello Turquoise again, and we're just gonna darken this side and just bring this up. So coming in from the shadow and then gradually easing off the pressure as we get further to that highlight. And as you can see there, as we're decreasing the pressure that's coming off, it's creating a really nice smooth blend to that highlight. And that highlight is actually a bit too bright for my liking at the moment. So I'm just gonna come in here with the light cobalt turquoise and just add in some blue, just like so. Just dampen it down a smidge, but then what we're gonna do is come in with the white and just really smooth out that highlight. Can you see there how that light cobalt turquoise and the pigment from the white pencil are blending together to create a really nice smooth highlight in the middle there. And we're just gonna you know, stump off the end there as well. And they're the same around here as well. So just like so, and then we're gonna come over here with the cobalt green and just blend this as well. Just like so. So now we're gonna come over. And what we're happening now is we just need to darken this other side of this rectangle. So I'm gonna come in with the Hello Turquoise, just darken this side as well, and just bring this up. So just like we did here, so starting off relatively dark and then gradually easing off the pressure as we get closer to that highlight, and this will create a nice smooth blend from both sides into that lighter area in the middle there. So very nice. So now what I'm gonna do is come in with the, still staying with the Hello Turquoise actually, and just adding a bit more of shadow on this base bit here, just to darken up, because I think it's lacking some contrast at the moment. So just gonna darken that up here. And because we've done so many layers, everything that I'm putting on now is just going down really smoothly. Can you see that? If you have a go at this um, on your own, you'll notice that when you're just layering like this, the, um, the first layer will be grainy, the second one will be a bit less, and then the subsequent layers after this will just get smoother and smoother and smoother because the pigment from the pencil that you're putting down is just blending with what's already down there, and it's just creating a really nice, smooth finish. Just coming over here, and then just coming over here as well. And then what we're gonna do, you can see here that this shadow is actually a little bit grainy. And this is because what I think is the darker pencils, they just don't seem to have as smooth a finish as the lighter pencils do. So I'm gonna come in with the light cobalt turquoise and just smush all this together. 
And you can see here that because I'm using that lighter color, it's creating a really nice smooth finish. And then what I'm gonna do is come back in with the dark color, so the hello turquoise, and just darken this up again. And then because we're utilizing the power of the light pencil and its really smooth blending ability, we then have a really smoothly blended shadow. Just like so. And I reckon that this little shadow here has actually become, it's not dark enough, so I'm actually gonna grab a, another pencil. So this is now the dark indigo, and I'm just gonna really darken this shadow here. Just like so. Very nice. Can you see how just having that darker shadow is increasing that contrast, which is helping the whole thing pop. So now what I'm gonna do is just come over here with the white pencil now and just really smush it together. Just like so. Just over the entire thing. Just like this. I'm gonna come over here and then we're gonna come over here as well. Just really smoothing everything out. And you can probably tell by now that this colored pencil work is not a quick process. It does take time because to do all these layers, it's just time consuming. And then we're gonna come over here with the white pencil as well. Just smush all this together as well. Just like so. And just come in here because I reckon this highlight could actually be a bit brighter now. So I did originally say that it was a bit too bright, but I'm gonna brighten that up just to increase that contrast. <sighs> reckon that's looking cool now. Right, and then just come in, blend, and we can just put some more highlight this side as well. And then there's a bit here as well. And I reckon we just darken this bit a little bit. So I'm gonna come in with the Hello Turquoise again. Just darken in here. Really taking my time to keep everything nice and crisp. And coming this side as well, and just blending this dark shadow a bit more into this piece, because at the moment it's a bit sticking out. We want it to be part of this piece. Just like so. I reckon this is looking pretty cool now. So coming over, just like so. And I reckon that we could just kind of, because at the moment this line here is not quite parallel with this one. So I'm just gonna come in with the light cobalt turquoise and just push that shadow to make it a bit parallel, a bit more parallel even. Just like that. And this is kind of lightened up that shadow. So I then want to come back in with the hello turquoise and just darken it a bit. So now what I can do is actually start to add in some like things that don't necessarily fit in with the general form. So it's like weird details everywhere. So like some reflections and just shadows that don't necessarily fit with like, like the mass. Um, so it's not just a big surface area of one color, if that makes sense. So you're adding in like weird imperfections and it's these things that give it a bit more like, oh, what's going on there? And make it look a bit more interesting and more realistic. Because let's be honest, when do you look at something in real life and it's all just like one color? Like never. So just adding in some things there. And then because we've done all of this, we can then come in and blend it. So I'm gonna use the light cobalt turquoise. Just like so and then come over here and we're just gonna blend this as well. So really, basically the final stage here is just coming with a light color and just smush it, smush everything together. Just like so, and then I'm just gonna quickly come in with the dark indigo again and just really darken this side. Just like so. And there you go. I'm pretty sure that that is pretty safe to call finished. Now, if you've been able to listen to me jibber jabber about colored pencils for 14 minutes straight, I really want to invite you to join my new free drawing community called the Drawing Guild. Now in here, I have an entire course on my whole drawing method from sketching to graphite pencils, to markers, to colored pencils, literally everything completely for free. And these courses um, include real-time drawing tutorials where you can follow along with me in real time and create a pretty cool drawing. So if this sounds interesting, it's all linked down in the description as well as the materials that I've used today. And yeah, as always, thank you for watching and I shall hopefully see you in the next one.